I wish I knew what book value was, but I'm too embarrassed to ask. There are many ways to estimate the value of a company. One ratio that is popular with value investors in particular is the price to book ratio, which compares a company's share price with its book value. So what is a book value? Quite simply, it's the total value of a company's assets after subtracting all of its liabilities. You can find it in the balance sheet section of a company's annual report. It's also known as shareholders' equity or net asset value. Assets come in two main types. Tangible assets, including land, machinery, cash, anything you can touch, including cash in the bank and other financial assets such as shares. Intangible assets include the value of a brand or intellectual property rights, assets that you can't touch but which definitely have a value. Intangible assets are harder to put a specific value on than tangible assets. It's a lot easier to know what a fleet of vehicles is worth today than it is to put a precise value on a brand at any given point in time. Moreover, many of the costs that create intangible value, such as spending on research and development, never end up being recorded on the balance sheet as a result of accounting conventions. Yet for many companies, tech stocks are an obvious example, but consumer goods companies are another, the value of the intangible assets may well be far greater than the physical assets they own. As a result, book value is arguably more useful for valuing companies with lots of tangible assets, such as house builders or banks. If you divide the share price by the book value per share, this can give you an idea whether the company is cheap or expensive. A price to book value of less than one means that, in theory, you can buy the company for less than its assets are worth. In other words, if you had the means to buy the whole company, you could buy it, then sell off all its assets immediately and still make a profit. Of course, it may also imply that investors are skeptical as to the real value of the company's assets. To learn more about book value and its limitations, subscribe to Money Week magazine.